SpaceX is about to take on its most ambitious project to date. The aerospace company is collaborating with NASA to introduce its world-famous Starship as a space station. Can Elon Musk really make history this way? Let's find out. SpaceX is looking to turn the Starship into a low-orbit space station. Starship's already impressed a lot of folks with its state-of-the-art design. Naturally, many expect the spacecraft to deliver the same range of accommodations as a space station with NASA's help. So far, SpaceX has announced plans to use the Starship as a transportation vehicle for putting people on the moon, for launching the Starlink satellites, for cargo transport, and much more. Though, the company has never hinted as using the spacecraft as a space station, despite some experts hinting the Starship's potential giving its enormous size. Chad Anderson, the founder of Space Capital, said that the Starship is large and cost-effective enough that it could be a station itself. In fact, Anderson saw the Starship as a threat to other business models for commercial space stations. NASA needs a new space station More importantly, NASA's been in the market for a low-orbit space station for a while now. The International Space Station will reach its operational capacity by 2030, which could be a step back for space exploration. Given the circumstances, NASA has been working hard to find a replacement. The government agency has signed contracts with multiple aerospace companies over the years, including NanoRacks, Northrop Grumman, and Blue Origin. NASA has also signed an agreement with Axiom Space, under which the Texas-based space company will be docking its commercial modules at the International Space Station. These efforts are part of NASA's new initiative collaborations for Commercial Space Capabilities 2 or CCSC2, which focuses on providing aerospace companies with NASA consultation. The government agency has already picked seven companies as collaborators for the project, including Sierra Space, Think Orbital Inc., Special Aerospace Services, Vastspace LLC, and SpaceX. Phil McAllister, the director of commercial spaceflight at NASA headquarters, believes that these agreements will allow the listed companies to take advantage of NASA's vast information bank and at the same time promote healthy competition. Though the government agency will not be providing any funding to its collaborators. Additionally, the agreement states that SpaceX will be working on an integrated low Earth orbit architecture involving both the Starship and Dragon vehicles. NASA and SpaceX Artemis Program that said, this isn't the first time NASA and SpaceX are joining hands. Musk has also earned himself the first human landing services contract for the Artemis program with NASA. Under this contract, SpaceX will be responsible for designing a spacecraft to take astronauts to the moon one more time. The spacecraft for the lunar mission will be a different version from the Starship, which provides Musk's claims about the rocket being multifaceted. A closer look at the Starship According to Elon, the Starship will have the capacity to transport 100 people to Mars at a time, along with any cargo. The tech billionaire also envisions the spacecraft as a means of cargo transport across the globe. Stacked on top of the super-heavy first-stage booster, the full-launch vehicle towers a mind-blowing 394 meters and boasts a diameter greater than the fuselage of a Boeing 747 Jumbo. While the rocket is yet to make its journey to the Red Planet, SpaceX is close to realizing its dream. The company launched a spacecraft on April 20th, 2023, and even though the liftoff looked promising, the Starship ran into a few problems before reaching the orbit, leading it to self-destruct. However, SpaceX is not giving up. After the first launch, the company has gone back to the drawing board to fix everything that went wrong for a second attempt. Once SpaceX perfects the launch of the Starship, company engineers will need to revamp the interior of the Starship to make it habitable for astronauts to turn into a space station. SpaceX could also look into adapting its current crew cabin for extended stays in low Earth orbit. NASA has high hopes for the aerospace company. Phil McAllister thinks that in terms of scale and price, the projected Starship capacity could have a far-reaching impact on the sustainable development of the low Earth orbit economy. NASA's collaboration with other companies. That being said, SpaceX is not the only contender. Under the CCSC2, Sierra Space will be working on a commercial low Earth orbit ecosystem, including its life expandable modules and the Dream Chaser spacecraft. Meanwhile, Northrop Grumman will be refining its effort to work on a spacecraft called Persistent Platform. The design will be based on the company's previous Cygenus vehicle and will be used for commercial research and manufacturing. On the other hand, Think Orbital will be using NASA's vast expertise to improve large in-space platforms. And that's all for today. What do you guys think of SpaceX's new project? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until next time, bye!